And as long as I've been in the league, I don't think there's been an all-star game. Just to be able to go out there and play with the better players of the league and showcase some skills, kind of an awesome opportunity, really. And the fact that we're both being selected, obviously we're both very fortunate um, and looking forward to the whole day, really. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Say hello. Can say you wave? Hi. Are you shy? No. You're never shy. <laughs> I think Carp hey. had a ball in her hands from very early on. Well, I think she really actually gravitates naturally to it anyway. <laughs> I like to convince myself that. But we've always had a basketball around her. Ooh. High five. What's the most romantic thing that Jamal's done for you? I think romantic stroke extravagant <laughs> was proposing at the Commonwealth Games. Um, yeah, so after a game he got down on one knee and it went viral, so that was crazy. <laughs> so we were doing 3x3 for England, so there was a camp in Leeds. That's the first time I saw Georgia crossing somebody over. <laughs> I think from that point of when we started to get to know each other then, it just kind of blossomed into a, a good friendship and then um, and a, a relationship and Perfect. look at us now. <laughs> Who would have thought? thought? <laughs> <laughs> this is why we couldn't have a reality TV show. We've always been each other's biggest supporters really and oh. toughest critics at times too but <laughs> I think that's definitely helped give us more confidence as players. Um, so yeah it's good that he knows what he's talking about when he's critiquing me. <laughs> We live in Manchester and luckily the All-Star Media Day is also in Manchester. So we're going to head over there now, see everyone, get some really cool content to promote the All-Star game. We were worried about trying to balance everything. Having a child, training, games, but she's just been so cool with it all. Uh, you can take her to a game and she'll sit there happily and watch the whole basketball game. She'll fall asleep sometimes too. Yeah. Depending on the game. Yeah, well, yeah, she falls asleep at my games. <laughs> There's been a lot of players in the league that have had a baby and come back to play in, and I think that inspired me. I guess it made me feel like it was possible, but that's not to say it wasn't difficult, so I have way more respect for these women that have done it before me than I did previously. It's felt like a big accomplishment, and obviously it's amazing to have Harper at the games and see me play, um, so I'm really glad that I did it. I'm obviously happy that Harper gets to experience it and look back on it. Um, she's still young right now, but I think it'll be a great memory for her to look back on, seeing both of her parents involved. One, two, three, four. <laughs>